Hello everyone, my name is Leet, and I got into orbit yesterday with the crazy rocket that I dubbed the Funky 2. Uh, this crazy, crazy contraption. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to put it up one step further. I'm going to make a satellite. Uh, I'm going to use this. This little octo unmanned capsule. Well, it's not a cap not a capsule. It's a command pod. No, it's not even a pod. It's it's a command module that is unmanned. So yeah. What you want in a unmanned spacecraft is electricity. Because this is going to be a satellite, I'm going to want well, solar panels. Because that's what most of us think of a satellite. Well, that's what most of us think of when we hear the word satellite. So, uh, actually, probably let's, let's build the rocket under it first. So, in order to separate a stage, a, a, a satellite, safely from another, from a rocket, uh, you need these things. Stack separators. Um, they act as like, a, instead of explosive decouplers, they are hydraulic, so they they release uh, without a blowback, so it doesn't change orbit orbit patterns much at all. Actually, I have a better idea here. There's a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's called xenon, which is fuel for ion engines. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, <clears throat> so we got an ion engine here. It's a beautiful device. Sucks down a crap ton of, electri of electricity. Um, I'm going to put two of these things on here because it just seems like a good idea. These are little, well, they're pretty much satellite dishes. Um, at the moment they serve no purpose whatsoever, but they look cool, so. <laughs> I want to put an accelerometer on here. I want an accelerometer, there we go. Uh, a gravioli detector, a thermometer. I'm just going to put every single thing on here. Alright, that's every single device, except for this thing. Um... I don't think I need those. Oh, uh, I may as well, right? Make it symmetrical. There we go. All right, this is our satellite. Uh, I, I have one thing that I still need to do. Uh, I need to separate this first. There is these things. Well, no, they're these things, I believe. Why is that not working on the other side? Oh well. Um, I think the longer ones will do. Okay. Where should I put the fuel, the the xenon container on this thing? Uh, crap. All right, not this one. Don't need this one. Put it right there. Oh, very odd looking. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be a very odd looking satellite. But you know, they don't have to be uh, symmetrical. So cool. And because this is a ion engine, it takes a lot of power. So put Gigantor solar arrays. And these things are really big, clearly. And, uh, yeah, that should do. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be the satellite, uh, just the satellite part. I think the rocket should be, um, I think the rocket should be unmanned as well. So I'm going to need another one of these. Or should I make it cubular? Cubular? I don't even think that's a word. Alright, I'm just going to put that right there. Um, probably, probably want it like that. And then, 
Alright, so an orbital stage. It's gonna be tiny. Probably that. And, um, probably just this tiny thing. And a decoupler. There we go. And now I'm thinking I should just put a funky... a funky rocket underneath it. <laughs> not a funky rocket, but the design of the funky one and two. Because it seemed to work like a charm. Um, so... Well, I think I'm going to change it up just a bit. So... We got that stage up there. So I need an adapter. You don't need an adapter, but it makes it look a lot better. I guess because I have a lighter payload up here. Actually, it might not be lighter. How heavy are these things? Eh, not too bad. Alright, so I do have a lighter payload, that's for sure. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to need two fuel tanks here. And also, I did... I, I didn't really need two fuel tanks. Well, I... Yeah, I kind of did. Never mind. I did need two fuel tanks. I have the same design here. I uh, know. Right on the inside. Got the gimbals here. And the non gimbal. Hey, worked first try. Yeah. Oh, you know, I'm stupid. One second here. Advance. Oh wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Probably want it up here instead. Advanced OCS module. It's slightly smaller than the large one. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is actually the original Advanced OCS. Okay, now that I've got this my crazy stage done, <laughs> um, I never use these. Well, at least I never use them. They freak out. They they don't work. They really don't. These ones work oh so much better. Do we have to angle snap? Uh, put it right in the middle. Why not? And here we go. Got another rocket. Uh, as it was before, it looks a lot... As I said before, it looks a lot like uh, the other one. Where is... Ah, here's the nose cone. Yeah, nose cone actually serves no purpose, but it makes it look a ton better. Uh, structural... Start connectors. And put them on the SAS. <clears throat> you know... might be a good thing to put some struts connecting the... Yeah, because this might be really teetery. So, struts here to up here. That's definitely going to help with stability on that standpoint, but what about this one? I don't know. Well, that should be alright. We'll, we'll try it and see. Okay, now, outside tanks have nothing yet. Always gotta have these things. They work like a charm. Yeah. Okay, come on. I do believe I can't see a thing. Okay. Okay. That's a bit it's a bit low. That's alright though. <clears throat> now a strut connector so it doesn't wobble around like crazily. And I do believe this is our rocket. Put big engines down there. Grab the thing with key. Of course, this is an unmanned spacecraft, so there is it, there's no real good way. Well, there's no loss. So if if we if there's no point in putting any parachutes on here. Because there's, it's unmanned. We're, there's no loss in, uh, well, there's no real, there's no real point in, uh, in putting a parachute on here. Put the, th these generate a small amount of electricity. I probably only need two, actually. Doug still wants to put four on there. There we go, that's better. Ah, forget it. I'll put four. Why not? 
Alright. These things generate a tiny amount of power. They're really good for tiny probes that have no ion engine. Because ion engine, it uses so much fuel. I mean, uh, electricity. What is this here? Yeah, electric charge. 12 a second. It's very efficient in the xenon department, but electricity, it's just, it just wants to eat it up. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> okay. Put some of these things on there. Uh, okay, I'm not really liking how it's being put on there. Yeah, not, not really liking that at all. Okay, that should do. Yeah. Of course, no solid fuel. There is no real point, in my opinion. I'm gonna call this the... Saddle... What? <laughs> uh, how do I spell satellite? Actually, you know what? No. How about, uh... About... Comsat... Rock... No. Comsat... Lifter... One. Comsat Lifter 1. Save it and launch it. I'm launching this time because I don't think I really need to have have an eight minute video. So yeah. And I did and I can split videos if they're if they get too long. So hey, it's perfectly ooh, I think I need to change change the staging of this because I it seems that only the bigger engines are firing. I want the middle ones to fire, because then the, if only the outside engines fire, the external fuel duct, is, fuel duct is kind of useless. So, let's see here. Yep, that's the four outsides. This is the non-gimbal, I guess. Yep. And these are the four inside gimbal. Yeah. Okay, is everything here good staged? Yes. I'm going to make this its own stage, because I don't think that would really work. Alright, that is the ion engine. Okay, everything seems pretty well and good. Again, I could probably get to mun with this thing. It is a massively massive rocket. <laughs> Alright. 80% throttle. And plug your ears. <laughs>